hey there, this is the one boom, and guess who got to play Black Ops 3 early? Not me, I'm playing on the Xbox One beta. You, what, what did you expect to come out of my mouth there? Anyway, enjoy the video, I'm gonna have uh, some stuff to talk about here. All right, so Black Ops 3, is it the god of COD? Is it the best video game I have ever played? Um, no, yeah? It's got a lot of good features from a lot of different first-person shooters. It's got really, really solid movement that seems a lot like Titanfall. It's got a really good special ability type of gameplay that reminds me a lot of Destiny. It has Black Ops 1 style gunplay with Black Ops 2 style maps and score streaks. This game is a collection of every first person shooter I liked. And obviously Destiny and Titanfall kind of fall lower on that list but they had good features and they had good ideas and this game capitalizes on that. And I could get into all the little features that Black Ops 3 has, uh, the ability to check your ping, the ability to see if the party leader is making their classes or not, Just weird stuff like that little tiny, not weird, but little tiny things like that are really important in a game and this game has them and more and the fact that this game is going to have theater mode and the, the gunsmith and the paint shop and oh god everything at launch is, is extraordinary to me and I, I we've seen like probably about one, this is one fourth of the game and by the way what you're seeing here is my very first match as you can see I'm absolutely terrible but that's okay with me personally I, I thought it was kinda okay that I did poorly on my first game because this game wasn't easy to pick up and play now maybe some of you guys will disagree with me, but I could not just hop into it and do well. And I know you're thinking, you're not very good at the game anyway. Well that's true, and I already knew that, but the thing about Advanced Warfare and Ghost is I already kind of had a gist, like, the gist of how to play the game down by the time I put it in my console. And with this game, I thought I had it down, but it actually kind of kicked my ass a little bit. The lack of toughness or any sort of focus flinch reducing perks were your gun kicks up when you get shot. Your guns have recoil, like foregrip is extremely useful but doesn't turn, no, nothing's a laser in this game. I have not used one weapon that I would consider just a laser. I haven't used the M8A7 yet and I've heard that's pretty accurate, but as it should be, it's a burst weapon. But this game screams Black Ops 1 to me. Whenever I get to a gunfight, my sights kick up everywhere. And if I can actually win a gunfight when, when I've gotten shot first, it really shows uh, skill because that means you are correcting your aim constantly as you're getting hit. Now a lot of people have trouble with the flinch. Uh, one of those people is Exclusive Ace and a couple of people I played with on the night of the beta launch. They were saying the flinch is a bit too much. And for when you're tackling head glitchers, I'd say yes, but I have an idea to fix this um, and that would just be to maybe uh, reduce the flinch at longer ranges. Like So at long range, you flinch less when you get shot, but at closer range you flinch more. Let me know what you guys think of that ability. Obviously it wouldn't fix you know everything but I don't think they should just make it a reduced flinch in general because I, I kinda like the fact that gunfights are a little bit harder because in the last several Call of Duties it's been low recoil laser guns and not a lot of thinking going into gunfights so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about that but you're probably wondering if you haven't played the beta yet or if you just want to hear my opinion is this advanced warfare is this a reskinned advanced warfare reskinned halo a reskinned titanfall no it's got features from those games, but it really isn't. The movement is simply for traversal. Simply for that. It's not... The game isn't ruled by it. You're not supposed to bounce around like Advanced Warfare. It's like Titanfall in the sense that, yeah, you have wall running, but that's not why it's like Titanfall. Titanfall's movement was to traverse the terrain and get to advantage points. But the thing about this game is although, it, yes, it is for traversal... Traversal? For traveling, I'm just gonna stick with my simple words. Traveling, there's not a lot of vantage points. There's not a lot of like key points where you can just lock down the whole map. Every map has equal areas uh, of cover, and it's not all that they're symmetrical, but there's cover everywhere. It's head glitch spots, it's half walls, it's corner walls, everywhere. And it's a lot, a lot of pie in corners, and if you guys don't know what that is, I'll do a video on that later. But the thing is, about the game, is that you don't bounce around. I noticed, actually I got into a gunfight with someone that was a little bit lower than me and I had cover that was blocking my sight to him. So I shot at him, he got away, and I was expecting him to jump up and he just had to walk up the stairs. Yes, he can use the, the thruster jump and slowly hover up to me, but that would make him such an easy target, even if he had a scuff controller. 
he would be such a slow, obvious target. It'd be so easy to kill. So, the game is not Advanced Warfare. Do not worry. If you think it's going to be like Advanced Warfare, in my opinion and in many other players' opinions, it is not. As for weapon balance and map balance, I don't really want to get into too much, especially uh, the conversation of lag, because it's a beta. There's not a ton of support, the servers aren't all the way up, there's still a ton of bugs, a ton of stuff that needs ironing out, but let me just say this, the weapon balance in Black Ops 3 beta seems better than the weapon balance in Advanced Warfare. And that is scary to think about because Advanced Warfare has been out for almost a year now, and it's still struggling uh, with making all of its weapons useful. And this game, yeah, it does have less weapons, but they're all useful. I, I haven't picked up a gun yet where, that I thought was just trash. And I haven't heard anyone say a gun is just garbage. Uh, the Weevil SMG, everybody's complained about being poor. I have not used it that, that yet. I just used an unlock token on it a little bit ago, but I haven't had a chance to play with it. So I'll go do that tonight, and then maybe I'll tweet about it or do a little video on it. But whatever. It seems good. The spawns are a little fishy, but that's just because I'm in the beginning of the Xbox beta. I'm sure afterwards they'll do the PS4 fix that they did. And things will be all hunky-dory in that state. Never saying that again. So, is this game fun? Did I have fun playing it? When I first played Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, like I said, I kind of got irritated, I got frustrated, I knew what was going on already. When I played this game, similar to my feelings of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, my first five hours of playtime were not flawless, I did actually kind of poor, but I was smiling through all of it. That doesn't mean I never said, oh shit, fuck that, no, and damn it, and I didn't mean to die there, and damn it, how did he not die? I said that stuff, but I was smiling, I was having fun. It was enjoyable. The game has an interesting feel to it. It's not as fast as Advanced Warfare. It's not as slow as Black Ops 2. It's not as movement heavy as Titanfall. And it's not as uh, special ability heavy as Destiny. But it just fits together. Everything fits. And I'm really happy with that. It feels good. I can't really describe it. But everything feels tight and heavy. Everything feels like it, it hits hard. Everything feels like it's powerful. Like your character, just the way your character runs. The sounds that your weapons make, the sounds of the hit markers, everything hits really hard and I'm really excited about that. Also the aesthetics, the sounds, oh my god, it's so good. When you rank up, that guitar solo is so good. When you rank up your gun it goes and that is good and it flashes on your screen. Video games are on a screen, you don't feel them, you don't smell them, you see and hear them. So when a video game is flashing in my face and giving me good sounds to listen to with my headset, I paid $100 for a headset, I want to hear good sound through it. So I love this game. Now this could change. I have some criticisms I'll do in another video, but I'm letting you guys know this is the second day. Well, okay, it came out yesterday. This is the first full day of the beta. I have played for about 13 hours or less. I don't really know. I shouldn't say numbers, but I've played for a decent amount of hours. I'm level 23 now, and I am loving it. I'll let you guys know my negative things about it later. Some things I think should be tweaked, changed, but core gameplay, I love what they're going for. And if it's this solid in its beta stage, I am very, very excited for its launch. So I hope you guys keep leaving them feedback and constructive criticism on Twitter and at the feedback page that I linked in my previous Black Ops 3 Mindset video. I love this game and we should be giving them feedback about it and getting it working properly. It's a little laggy right now, uh, some freezing issues on Xbox One, but it's a beta. If this beta didn't come out, this could have well, this could have been the launch. The launch could have had freezing, codes not working, and all sorts of shit that we did not obviously want. So, oh man, I'm out of breath, I need to work out more. Anyway, I love this game. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm enjoying the challenge of it, it's a learning curve, and I'll let you guys be updated with how I feel about it, because this could just be a honeymoon phase, but honestly, I've had honeymoon phases that have a lot more rage in them than this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, 9 minutes long, thanks for sticking around. If you like to like, comment, and subscribe videos, you can go ahead and test out your skills on that on this video, or you can go do it on other guys' video. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye! Why did I get that loud? My throat hurts.